All right. Hello, everybody. This is Jake, your resident content cowboy here. Yeehaw. And I'm back. I'm back with some more bad builds. We've got a lot of bad builds we're going through. You obviously know what it is if you're watching on YouTube, but if you're here on stream, we're just finding it out as we go, right? I want to do a panda insectoid build. I want to do a build with as many synergies as possible. I just feel like that one's going to get me killed so fast. I want to do glacial hunters. I, I was told six night four warlock is actually dope right now from miles in the chat. So maybe I'll do that. But thank you everyone who's watching these videos or listening. Thank you for commenting, liking, subscribing, the whole thing. I really do appreciate everyone who does it. So thank you. Thank you for all that. It means a lot to me. Ooh, we got the makings of an early divine. We've also got mech here. I like mech better, but I'm going to grab this goddess of light just in case we go on a lost streak with whatever we're doing. And I think with a lot of these, we go on a lost streak. For insect panda, you know, you get your insectoids. They're both three, three cost, and then the other two are four cost. So it takes a while to get there. So I'd want panda early, really. If I get an early panda going, get that panda synergy working for me. Okay. <laughs> what do I even... I don't want any of this. Um, <laughs> King Bob from the chat says, Jake just carries around an auto chess playbook with him to make sure no one else gets their hands on it. I've got my... I've got my notepad of terrible ideas. That's the whole plan is what are the what are the worst what are builds that in a perfect world somehow could work but simply aren't any good. And that's what I try to make. Like in a perfect world, you could imagine, oh, like glacial hunter. I can see that. Your hunters are shooting a lot and they're shooting faster because of glacial, but they just don't synergize. Got that magic of staff. Um I think I'm going to do, I think I'll take rune hammer. Might do rune hammer, rune hammer, just because it's so fun. Yeah, why not? I'll go rune hammer, rune hammer. Let's have some fun with it. I think we're going to start losing here. I could force it to. None of this really goes the direction I need it to, right? Uh-huh. So let's see what happens. Um, I think we're losing. Yeah, we're losing against this. We got that priest out there, so it's a good loss. Is anyone else forcing a loss streak here? Nobody yet. Just me. We could use this loss streak to propel our finances to an exciting place. And then we could use that to transition to one of the builds we're looking for. Again, it's going to take us a while. Huh. There's Skybreaker. That could give us mech. No one else really helps us. I'm just going to start selling people. We're going money. Money! We're saving money. I'm going to put him over here in the corner. Very scared. Very scared of everything that's going to happen. No one else is doing this, right? <laughs> you always got to check to make sure you're not lost streaking against someone else who's lost streaking. And then it's priest on priest. I'll sell even unicorn and just grab skybreaker. Just in case we somehow get all the mech units we need all at once. Look at this person's already got two insects. What a world. What a world. So the idea with this lost streak, if you haven't used like a lot of lost streaks before, I like talking about lost streaks in my in my games and with these bad builds. Boy, there's a lot of opportunities. Okay, well this might be changing, huh? I mean, we we just got a lot of hunters here, so I could transition this away from the idea of maybe insectoid panda, which we haven't gotten a panda. Right now I've got hunters. A lot of hunters. So my bad build thought with these would be Glacial Hunter. I don't think a single... There's not a single Glacial Hunter as it is. So what we'd be doing 
is getting six hunter and then two glacial and then four glacial as we go. It's not good. <laughs> I just think about it and I go, oh, it's going to be bad. It's going to be so bad. But, you know, if, if while we're on this lost streak, we can find a lot of the hunters we need, then I think that would be an okay direction to go. We really can't use glacial for a long time with this build. We can't. Right now, I might even sell a hunter um, just so, just to keep my gold up, just sell like, I'll probably sell skull hunter because I guess two hunters are feathered. There's not a feathered glacial unit either. I am going to sell skull hunter just to keep my gold over 20. I'm trying to think who, who even works with this. To get four glacial, it doesn't it doesn't combo with a single <laughs> it doesn't combo with a single hunter, does it? I've never pulled up the book mid game to see. I, I actually want to try that. I'm sure it's gonna crash on PlayStation. But let's see. And I gotta see if I've got the PS5 version. Maybe I don't. I thought I did. I thought I checked the other day and it said I did, but you know, who knows? All right, let's see. Nobody we need. Now we're under 30. I don't want to sell another unit, but I could. And then just say, screw it, whatever happens. Who's this other guy losing with? He's losing with an actual build. I might sell another unit. I might do it. I might go crazy here. What if I just sell another unit? No one can be mad at me. I'm doing it. I'm going full on money. And now we're back in a position where we could switch this up to, to insect panda, but then I don't have any pandas. I think we're still gonna go hunters, but I just want money. All I care about is money. Ooh, Glacial Hunters was a very off meta build about seven season ago, but only seemed to be good out of a natural strong start. Oh, dude, yeah, Miles, share that video, and I would love to see it. Let's see. I don't need anybody here. We're just going to keep losing. Keep losing. Keep stacking paper. That's our plan. Once we're over 50 gold, we can start making some decisions. Ooh, Van Saves Lives. Mike is here. The people demand a good Wukong build guide. I have good Wukong build guides. How dare you? Yeah, yeah, tag me. I'll take a look at it, Miles. Thanks. This guy's got one of my insects. Now we're coming up against a creep round, which I hate to lose against, but I've set us up to lose against it. We don't have any units that are going to win. I could do a quick buy of some things, depending. Like, maybe get one more hunter, but this is a loss. Mike says he doesn't know anyone's name. That's fine. You don't need to. Okay, well, let's see. I don't, I don't know if we win this or not, but we're going to try. Uh, your attack speed's 1.1. Your attack speed's better, right? It gets better. I feel like putting it on you. Well, I'll just put it on you. Who cares? At this point, who cares? What about Demon Lord? We demand a Demon Lord. Um, is there a unit called... There There are demons, but I don't know if there's a, a Demon Lord build. I don't know if there's something we'd consider Demon Lord. So you, you might have lucked out there, Mike. Let's see. We got another Rune Hammer. And a, we could do Rune Hammer Wooden Club. That's pretty good. What do we pick up? Oh, yeah. I don't care about that. Um, or we could save it for our Dracula Mask and put it on one of our Hunters later. But yeah, let's do Rune Hammer Wooden Club. Why not? So, we're still losing as far as I'm concerned. I'm going to pull these units off the board. We're going to continue our loss streak into Oblivion. Our priest is now going to the other corner. Very, very safe. Very scared. And now that we're over 50 gold, we're going to start spending. Um... 
The first thing we're going to level, we're going to get six hunters. And then from there, we're just going to try to use that to get hunter glacial. We'll see how it goes. I could use another priest right about now because the damage is starting to get intense. Yeah, well, they have, Mike, um, instead of Demon Lord, they have a Phantom Queen. So she's a demon. And she was added added back to the game recently, actually. She was gone for a little bit, but she's back. She's back. Okay. Let's see. I'll level. Now that I'm six, I could get six Hunter out and stop the bleeding a little bit. Ooh. I'll take a strange egg. Oh, and a fortune teller. Actually, this is good for me. And I'm pretty money hungry, but the only way I could get up would be selling one of these units. I'd rather not sell right now. I'd rather keep this loss here. Got our green essence. Still losing. Chugging some green essence. Gave us five health. That's the most it can give. So that's pretty good for this lost streak. But now we have money. And now that we have money, it is time to gather our units up and start winning. Level six is pretty early, but it gives us access to enough hunters, right? Like, let's think of the hunters we'd want. Ooh, starting up my Umbra. Let's think of the hunters we'd want, really. We have... We have Shining Archer is one we'd want. Um, who else? I'm trying to think of like the other hunters that would be good for this build. Because I'm wondering if we go to seven, you know? Oh, there's the book. Oh my god, this is such a weird way to look at this. <laughs> oh yeah, Skull Hunter as well. Skull Hunter and Shining Archer would be pretty good for us. We've already got Wind Ranger. And then we need one more, right? Yeah, four costs. So maybe I do need to go to level seven, actually. See if I can make it work. Mike wants Demon Lord. Oh, but Mike actually likes Phantom Queen. Well, there you go. It all worked out. There's our insect that we're not going with at this point. Let's move us up to level seven. And we'll move naturally after this round. I'm going to chug a healing potion. And we're going to have to start rolling and finding people. <laughs> Mike says the people demand Skull Hunter. Well, I think we're going to get Skull Hunter out there. I do. Right now we've got Umbra as our two-star hunter. It's one of my least favorite units. In fact, for people who have followed me for a while, you'll know that I don't really like hunters at all. So this is a bad build in so many ways for me. All right, our health is too low. We got to do this. It's time. It's time to at least stop losing on purpose. By the way, uh, this is for you, Mike. I'm, I've been playing a little of you know League of Legends Wild, Wild Rift, and it's really good, incredibly well done, but it's also reminding me of why I stopped playing League of Legends. Because I played way too much League. And now I'm just like, oh my god, am I really getting back into this? Am I really playing LOL on my phone right now? Okay. Hunter. 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 I gotta, I'm going to roll. Agersis. Shining Archer. Yes. Um, this is all on you, I think, right now. That's fine. Hmm. Again, I can't grab the, uh, I can't grab any glacial really yet. It won't help me. I need to go six hunter. It's the only reasonable thing to do in this moment to hopefully stop the bleeding of our lost streak and start putting us in a position to win. Right now we're five hunter. Literally, if I have six hunter, I probably win this creep round. Right now I might lose it because... 500 doesn't really do much. Yeah, we're losing this creep round, which is okay. You can win or lose a creep round on a lost streak. I'd rather win it so I get more items, but 
you know, magic or crystal. Ugh. That's okay. A couple hunters use it, but it's not my favorite. Dwarf sniper leveling up. Okay. Shining archer. Mm-hmm. Dwarf sniper. Ugh. Disappointing. Disappointing. Very disappointing. What's disappointing is... I'm just trying to protect some of these units right now, and I'm putting a position where Umbra's just going to die. I need one more. I need one more hunter. Right now, we're still losing. Oh, wait. We won. Oh, jeez. I didn't expect us to win. Okay, we won. <laughs> King Bob says, thank God I never got into lol. Because the fact that it just came to mobile and everyone says it's good means I'd probably lose my life. Yeah, it's really good. It it plays so well. All right. There's... Hey. I know someone is going to be happy. There's Skull Hunter for you. All right. Skull Hunter made it. Now the question is, now that I have six Hunter on the board, I still want to roll to grab these Hunters. But I also could get us to level 8 soon. And I could use that to actually get our little glacial synergy going on. Gave you the mana crystal good. Okay. Yeah, <laughs> yeah that's right. Skull Hunter's here. He died immediately. But he's here. We're actually going up against a much stronger Hunter build right now. So they're going to kill us. They've, got, they've had Hunters this whole time. They're probably going, why did he save all that money to get hunters? Because hunters are a mid-game thing. You don't need to save a bunch of money to play hunters. Let's see. Who do you got your items on? Ooh, a pull stuff on you. That's really good. Yeah, I agree. It is. It works so well on phones, it's unbelievable. All right, Siren's here. I like Siren. Um, I'll take Siren over a one-star you. I could even... No, because I might lose. Let's see. I'm going to... I want to get to eight to get my other Glacial unit out there. Just because that's the whole point of this build, right? But we're also so low on health. All right. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to try to hang out for one more round and hopefully not die too badly. We're going up against some assassins. That's not bad for us. We do we do okay against assassins. Okay, not bad. Not too bad. If I can get us to level eight, I can get one more glacial unit out there. I don't know if is there a single there's not a single glacial unit I can think of that synergizes, right? Hmm. Hey, Kobe. Good to see you, too. And things are great. I am doing a bad build right now. We're trying to do some glacial hunters. I'm going to let the game just adjust. I want to see what the game thinks is a good position. I can see that. Sure. Why not? Our health is so low that we're going to need to make a move here real soon. Oh, but you see, game, I had my dwarf sniper all protected. You almost got him killed. So maybe I was the smart one. No, we won. Nah, the game was right. I'm stupid. The game knew. It knew how to play the game better than me. All right. We're leveling up to eight. We want to get a glacial unit out there. Ooh, siren. Okay. Am I putting out there right now? Shining Archer, right? Yeah. And I want Siren. I don't think Umbra is going to be a three-star unit for us. And just to keep my money up, I know it's, like, dumb, but I'm going to sell these unicorns. All right. Now we need to get our next Glacial unit out there. I'm thinking Desperate Doctor, maybe. Also, I mean Berserker. But Hunter doesn't help anyone else, right? No. So I'm thinking, really, at this point, anyone. It's not going to make too much of a difference. 
Hmm. Don't like this. Don't like this one bit. Well, I could put a Dracula mask on a hunter. I could take this Magicka crystal and just work that. Hmm. All right, let's see. I could put a feathered unit out there if I don't find who I'm looking for. Hmm. Warpwood Sage would be better. All right, let's get Warpwood Sage. Get rid of you. There's another Skull Hunter. Mike's going to enjoy that. Now the question is, who would I put out Spider Queen in place of? I don't really like Spider Queen. I think it's better than Skull Hunter. But, <laughs> I mean, you know, the chat wants Skull Hunter. So it feels like it's almost criminal to get rid of Skull Hunter at this point. Item-wise, I hate this stuff. I'm still just like, ugh. Okay, that was a win. <laughs> uh, there's Desperate Doctor. Okay. I'm just saying bye to the spider. We gotta keep Skull Hunter. I mean, people have a, a lot of faith in Skull Hunter. Let's roll. Fortune teller. Can't believe you're getting two starred. I thought I was invited to host the wedding. Oh yeah, they're putting fortune teller over there, kinda like, get out of it. Don't don't look over here. He's gonna confuse some people. Okay. We do need Skull Hunter to two star, and we also really need Siren to two star. It's hard to get Siren to cast without it being two star, you know? Yeah, that's true, Kobe. Mask is pretty good on Berserker, and you can put it on Dwarf or Eggersis Hunter and do a good job. I could take a mask, and why not? Sounds fun. Let's put a mask on. Sometimes it's fun to have on Dwarf Sniper. He doesn't get to use his big shot, but he just fires a ton. There's Desperate Doctor. Let's see. Still rolling for a couple people here. Nobody there. There's another Dwarf Sniper. Now the question is, does Shining Archer ever come out? I like Shining Archer better than Skull Hunter, but since Skull Hunter is just so popular in the chat... Hmm. Okay. Skull Hunter really... Oh my god. Look how much they destroyed Dwarf Sniper. Poor guy. See, the game wants him back there, but i he's just going to get gobbled up by assassins. And I don't want him to be the one eaten. I'd rather have Fortune Teller be the one eaten by assassins. The glacialness of this doesn't seem to be helping that much. Desperate Doctor is better than Fortune Teller. <laughs> if I pull Skull Hunter... They riot. That's what Mike says. Skull Hunter means a riot. So I can't pull it. Hmm. I'm rolling to star three people right now. I think I gotta do it. There's Skull Hunter. Start up. Now Skull Hunter can't go anywhere. And Desperate Doctor. Okay, that's not too bad. I can stop rolling for a second. Maybe get us up to level 9, possibly. I also could roll really hard for uh, Dwarf Sniper, you know, as my carry. I could do that, too. Berserker would be good. You know, just stacking attack speed on him. But I'm really focusing on my Dwarf Sniper, mainly. He's a pretty good unit for this. Shining Archer is always just looking at me like, why would you not have me? I'm so good. You want Skull Hunter instead of Shining Archer? And I'm like, I don't. I don't. But what can I do? I'm in an unwinnable position. Okay. Um, what does level nine give us? Not a ton. Not a ton. Is there a way this gets to level 10 without me getting one of these big carry units up? I don't think it does, really. 
I don't think it does. I'm curious what what some of you think. I'm gonna take this Magicka staff. You could go either way, but I'm just gonna pulse staff our uh, our our Wind Ranger because that's really good. I'm thinking. Ooh, Siren. Hi. I'm thinking. Here's what I'm thinking. Everyone's two starred. I have to get to level 10, which is a ton of gold, to make two more glacial units happen. Or I could use that gold and find, hopefully find dwarf snipers. We only have, we have one other person with dwarf snipers. And we got two. Hmm, we got two people with dwarf snipers. That might mean the smart thing to do for this build especially, is just push hard and get us to possibly level 10 and get two more glacial units on the board. I think we're going to die in the process, though. That's what I'm worried about. I'm worried about that inevitably that we have to die. <laughs> and there's no way to really protect us. There's another dwarf sniper. I could, I could grab Agrisus too. Agrisus every once in a while gets up to three stars. All right. I'm going to go for the level strategy. Let's see how it works. So we're getting close to level nine. And if I have to, I'll just sink all my gold to take us. You know what? Ooh. I could actually pull, pull a Marine in for level nine, protect us from some magic damage, and then build that through to our glacial finale which would ideally be berserker and sacred lancer that's that's where we'd want to go with that a life crystal okay oh that dwarf sniper is taking us down oh it was dwarf sniper against dwarf sniper it's like brother against brother <laughs> We trust you as much as you trust Skull Hunter. Well, then we're kind of in trouble. I think I put this on you. I, I think I just stack you with even more items for now. I mean, you're our carry. Okay. Yes, I'll take you. Yes, I'll take you. Putting Pushing us up to level 9 here. And I don't have a marine unit yet. I'd like one, but I don't have one. So I'm going to put out another dwarf sniper. I wonder if I'll switch. Let me try to switch these. Let me see what happens here. He'll be the bait, and he'll be the good one. Let's see if this works at all. Yeah, they surrounded the good one. <laughs> it didn't work. They surrounded them both. They killed them both. Uh, but we did win. Okay. <laughs> All right. So now I'm looking for a marine unit, really. Um, and then after that, I'm looking for, of course, other glacial units. I'm going to spend all the extra money we have. And if my health gets really, really low, I'm just going to push all my energy towards getting us to level 10 and getting two glacial units out there. What do I need? I just need one more dwarf sniper, right? Am I doing the math on that right? One more dwarf sniper gives me a three star. So we'll see, see what happens here. Life is crazy. You never know what's gonna happen. All right, looks like a win for us, yes. Yes. People said Glacial Hunter couldn't work because it was stupid. But who's stupid now? Me. All right. Combine that on you. This armor, I don't know who that should go on. Maybe Umbra? Who's front line? Skull Hunter? There's no way I'm putting an item on Skull Hunter. Put on Umbra for a moment. Okay. <clears throat> All right, and we're gonna win this one. We're gonna win this creep round. 
And now we get to pick a cool item. I definitely want that mask if it's an option. That's a really fun one to put on a hunter carry. And we did get it, Wraith Shard, cool. So I'm gonna make the mask. This gives us 50% attack speed and he's no longer silenced. It's just kind of like everything, you know? All right, let's see. Nobody we need. Okay, I'm gonna roll a little. There is one unit. Okay, nobody we're looking for yet. Two more rounds, we naturally go to 10. If our health gets dinged like super low, then I'm just gonna say screw it, push us to 10, even though it sucks to spend money like that. It's just not cost effective. Oh, that Tortola Elder's gonna blast us. We got him. Guys, this Glacial Hunter is actually kind of working out for a second. I can't believe it. Oh, we got some items too. Ooh, there's our Berserker. So we've got all the units necessary for Glacial Hunter. I could do another Pulse Staff. I'll put that on you and then get some mana on you. All right. Let's see. Wow, we three-star Dwarf Sniper. Wow. No. No, 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 no. Hmm. Okay. Well, things are looking up for us, actually. We're doing okay. I don't know who said this was a bad build. Maybe me like 5,000 times, but this isn't doing too bad at all. We're level 10 now. So now we get our final glacial unit on the board. And we're just going to start rolling for all the units we want. Okay, and I could put items on Berserker as well at some point. Not that I need them. All right, let's roll. Nobody we need, nobody we need. Unicorn. Wood Sage, Defector, Desperate Doctor. How's this going? Ooh, what are we up against here? This looks like it's gonna kill us. Whatever it is. Oh, knights. Yeah. These could be tough for us. Glacial knight. Just eating us alive there. Okay. Well, I'd like to get Eggersis Ranger start up. And I'd like to get my other uh, glacial units on the board and start up here as well. Let's see. Dark Spirit. I love Dark Spirit. I just don't have room for him. You know who would be really useful, actually, now that I'm thinking about it, is Tsunami Stalker. Because that's going to protect us against a lot of magic damage, too. Ooh, Spacewalker. No, I don't need anyone here. So we're still doing our four Glacial, six Hunter. Which actually seemed to work okay against this Mage build before. Yeah, it's working okay against this. Hmm, there's Umbra. No, I'm not starring you up. There's Tsunami Stalker. So I'm going to have to replace somebody. Oh, my God. Do you guys know who I'm about to replace? <laughs> it's Skull Hunter. Sorry. Sorry, everyone. Sorry, Skull Hunter. You, I, you had to go. I, I, there's nothing I could do at this point. My hands are tied. I would be arrested if I didn't replace Skull Hunter in that moment. Ooh, Sacred Lancer. Cool. Um, all of this is good. I like Wraith Shard. I think Ghost Blade's a little better with the um, chance to deal like insane damage. I think that's the better one. What's the other one? Oh, 
Yeah, it stops their HP regen, huh? Hmm, hmm, I'll take that. Why not? Okay. Yeah, you. I'll let the game, let me see what it wants me to do. What it thinks it's good. Okay, I'll try this positioning, sure. Ooh, another Sacred Lancer. Ooh, we could two-star this Sacred Lancer. That would be pretty dope, actually. Oh, just an awful shot from our Wind Ranger being put on the other side of the map here. But we're getting a lot of work with our uh, Dwarf Sniper doing some work. I love that Skull Hunter just keeps showing up, being like, remember what you did to me. Never forget what you did to me. And put some items on you. And I have an item on somebody weird, right? Yeah, you. Ooh. Wow. Guys. We got some stuff going on here. We just two-starred our Berserker and we two-starred our Sacred Lancer. Things are happening for us. Glacial Hunters. Ooh, that was a brutal... Brutal win. All right, let's see. I'll take that for the some of the magic damage that we could run into. Hmm. I kind of like that item. Pushing someone away. He doesn't need ability damage, but we can combine it into that really good item for him. Actually works better on you, doesn't it? Let's switch these. Switch that for that. Okay. Let's see. Unicorns, fortune tellers, tsunami stalker. Very good. Oh my god, we're going up against a three star Avenge Knight carry. We're screwed. Sacred Lancer's trying their best, though. That wasn't as bad as it could have been, really. I mean, I don't know what you do against that build right now, especially with this build. So I should probably just use this egg on Tsunami Stalker to star him. Sacred Lancers, you know, they're in an okay spot. I'm trying to think of what the smartest route for these units is. I'm gonna swap those two and just kind of see if that Wind Ranger damage can help out a little bit. We're not gonna be able to, I feel like we can't do anything against a three star stacked Avenge Knight. It's just not gonna happen, but we can get pretty far. We can get all the way down to like 1v1, but we're just not going to beat that unit. Uh, I need that one item. I need the item that uh, would disable him, but I haven't built for it. So I should have saved one of those health crystals to build for it. But either way, this is where we're at. Uh, we could three-star the Berserker. Switching my build up right now would be the smart thing to do, but also at the same time, it's not going with the spirit of what we're doing, which is Glacial Hunter. We're just going to watch it lose. We don't have a choice. We just want, we're just going to watch it lose. Um, well... This isn't even what I need in general. Like, it doesn't give me what I need. We'll take this. And... I'm gonna... I'm gonna kind of put everybody together here. Because... It's not like... It's not like me being spread out is really helping me against knights, particularly, you know? Hmm. 
we really need a different item. We need an item that uh, locks down the highest attack enemy on the enemy team. But since we don't have that, we'll never take out that Avenge Knight with this build. We'll try our best, but our best is simply not good enough. Now we should just roll, huh? Who do we want to star up? Who? Let's try to get this Berserker. Why not? Three star Agrisis Ranger. That's kind of cool. Hmm. No. I could take those unicorns. I'm actually. That's a, that's actually not good that I'm not grabbing those unicorns. I should be. Oh, there's an item here. Nothing will stop the Avenge Knight. The Avenge Knight will kill us all. The Sacred Lancer actually is pretty dope if I stacked my items on him. And maybe just for this last round, let's see what would happen if I did that. One more. I don't know if this is better than a dwarf sniper. But it'll be cool to see all the items on that Sacred Lancer, right? Why not? He's just getting... We're getting eaten up this round. Oh, they got Sacred Lancer early. <laughs> and that's it. Glacial Hunters. We came, we saw, we lost. Once again, another bad build. In the books. Put it in the books. Sorry, Skull Hunter. There was nothing we could do. Thank you, everyone, for watching. Thank you for listening. I'll see you next time. Mwah! A kiss.